What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI. I have another HP MP9 G2 Micro. This will be a disassembly teardown video. I'll show you guys how to do that. Again, this is a HP MP9 G2 Micro. I'll show you the be teardown video. So we're gonna remove the thumb screw right here in the back. And you're gonna slide it the side cover panel to the right. So the back side be like this. Here's the thumb screw and you like this. Slides right out, hold your finger like this, and it comes right out, slides out to the right side. So remove the side cover panel. So HP MP9, uh, this is the G2 Micro. So we're gonna, first all you guys probably need is just get you to wear some latex gloves. And uh, you will need either flathead screwdriver or you, you will, or you, if you have a Torx T15 screwdriver, because that's what I use. And if you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, then you could just use a flathead, perfectly fine. This is a Torx uh, T15 screwdriver, and this is the flathead. So first off, we're gonna start off from the caddy right here. There's a little clip right here, so you guys can see the video better. So right here, there's a little clip right here. Press on it to remove that, and just pull it to the left, the hard drive, to disconnect the SATA and power right here. And the hard, the, the solid state drive right here, you press on it to the left side really gently to release it. Like this, this little clip on it, the secure lock. So remove the solid state drive. Now, I'm gonna use a T, uh, Torx T15 screwdriver right here to remove the caddy here. The screw right here. And there's another one right here, two more. One here and one there. Looks like it's the same screws they use for the caddy. Now go ahead and disconnect the caddy here, it comes right out. So there's one screw right here and one, two in the bottom right here. So we've got the caddy removed. Now let's go ahead and remove the fan cooler right here for the CPU processor cooler, fan shroud here. And what you're gonna do is it comes right out really easy with your finger, press it up and it comes right out. And just disconnect the, looks like it's a four pin. Be really gentle and disconnect it. Like this, just get that disconnected. Looks like you're using the same fan as a laptop. Okay, and we're gonna remove the memory and remove the memory just really easy. There's a clip right here on the left and one on the right. So with your finger, one of the like this, press on the clip and then one on the right like this. And it comes right out really easy. Same with the other one right here. There's a little clips right here. And one right there, and you press on like this to remove it. So remove the memory now. We're gonna remove the heat for the processor heatsink cooler right here. There's one screw right here and two right here. It's a total three screws. So But yeah, you can use either way, Torx T15 screwdriver or you can use a flathead, it works perfectly fine to unscrew it. So, okay. And just comes right out really easy like this. So we got the heatsink remove cooler from the processor. Now, you're gonna remove the, the processor and there's a little clip right here. What you do, you press your finger really gently. A little clip right here and press to the right really gently like this, your finger. Show you guys again, go like this. And just go press on it and just release to the right. And disconnect the processor. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, 
remove the motherboard and there will be one, two, two screws right here in the top. So, and two in the bottom, one, two, three. Okay, so total four screws here. Okay, so there's two in the top right here. Use a Torx T15 screwdriver. Go one. So we got two screws and there'll be two more in the bottom. Okay, three. And this one right here, the last one right there. Four. Now let's see if they'll take your finger like this and lift it up like this and the motherboard should come right out and what you're gonna do is there's a uh, right here the internal speaker right here get that disconnected right here the cable it looks like it's a two pin right here get that disconnected and it looks like an internal sensor right here get that disconnected right here there's another one here pin another one and just lift up the motherboard Be really gentle, so make sure you disconnect the internal and the sensor right here before you lift the motherboard. You don't want to rip it out. So comes right out like this, really easy. Here's the back side. Display port, VGA port, serial port, a USB uh, to a 3.0 ports, LAN port right there, and uh, for the power. So yeah, guys, uh, this is be this will be the end of the video. This is the tear down disassembly for the HP MP9 G2. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.